From the time we started the reform, there was an important element of emphasizing both development and regulation. Development is considered as important as regulation. And development in the context of application of technology has three dimensions from our side, the way we emphasized it. One is strengthening institutional infrastructure. The second is from a technological point of view, we have taken several measures on the payment systems in the interface with the financial sector as a whole. And third is application of technology within the RBI. On all fronts, we have moved significantly and we have put forward a vision document covering all these aspects in the public domain. And we are really looking forward to a more dynamic uh, progress in this regard. And this certainly impacts significantly the rural population. RBI has definitely been, you know, as a very, very uh, prudent uh, regulator, has, uh, you know, been guiding banks. And I would say, you know, in the last... Uh, Almost four to five years, you find that RBI has called for meetings of chairmen of banks before it came out with any specific policy initiative it wanted to do. If I look to last ten years, I see a very distinct uh, planning and uh, a blind execution on, on the part of the government as well as RBI in upgrading the entire banking infrastructure and the way in which the banking has been done in the country in an extremely systematic and organized manner. So for example, 10 years earlier, nobody could have thought of prudential guidelines, seeking of recognition, asset classification, and Indian banking coming up to the global standards in these areas. Thinking process has started in the last decade in a big time. Uh, banks started thinking the kind of business they would like to go in for, and how they'd like to spread their risks. Uh, even the importance of profitability has come in very large measure during this period. One of the major changes which has happened in the Indian banking sector has been today banks are all thinking of new ideas, thinking of how to give the best to the customers, or how to reach the customers and how to be very competitive, something which never existed earlier. A major portion of the bank staff used to be used in housekeeping work in the sense tallying the ledgers, reconciling the statements and things like that, which have become totally mechanized today. Banks are moving from taking deposits for uh, lending to giving off the entire range of financial services like life insurance or fire in or uh, general insurance or mutual fund hawking, DMAT services and all that. Now, these people are today available for doing that. We are providing online uh, uh, 365 into 24 into 7 day banking, home banking, phone banking, internet banking and I think in next two years most public sector banks would have attained uh, uh, you know the kind of banking the kind of uh, technology use of technology to provide doorstep banking to customers which can be compared to global standards in banking. Reserve Bank on its own had uh, initiated quite a few uh, attempts. Uh, in the initial years, it was on helping the banks to focus on automation uh, to give better customer service. Commercial bankers did not have the technological capabilities to undertake this uh, work. As uh, the years passed by, rightly, uh, Reserve Bank has moved to other uh, new areas. I must definitely compliment uh, RBI for the way it's driven uh, technology usage across the country. And one is about identifying the right kind of technology to use, second is where to use them, and third is to create the right set of standards so that everyone uses in the same way and talks to each other in the same way. The approach about 10 years back was totally different, especially the uh, public banks, public sector banks. Now the approach of all the banks is changing and a few of them are more aggressively, uh, you know, receptive to the needs of people. I distinctly uh, notice a change because I feel that now uh, we have certain facilities like we can uh, send them applications uh, over the net and we can get back a draft for example for uh, correction and then get back to them very fast. I have five, six accounts, say in Bombay, Bangalore, Chennai, you know. Biggest facility is that I now can control, not only really transact, see, while sitting in this branch itself.
When it comes to clearing operations also, I would say MICR based check uh, processing was introduced by uh, Reserve Bank of India. And from there we graduated to RTGS and uh, we are very glad that most of the banks have become members of this uh, system. Uh, about uh, 5,000 RTGS enabled branches are there uh, all over the country covering about 400 important centers. Earlier things were uh, very slow. It used to nearly take a month's time to get the uh, things, you know, by the time we could get the guarantee or LC passed on and the benefits which the customer now gets, the things are done within 24 hours and it becomes very easy for us to collect the advances and that comes uh, to the benefit of the company. We are looking to a situation where more and more bank become uh, really techno savvy and uh, there are clear signs that uh, the Indian bankers are quite capable of coming up to and adapting themselves and give better service to the society. The quality of services will improve, the cost will come down. And I think a quantum jump is certainly possible. Uh, given uh, the recent success with regard to the telecommunications uh, very clearly shows uh, that it is possible. The next step these banks will have to look at is, today these ATMs are only cash dispensers. Maybe they can be uh, assigned some more uh, banking transactions like payment of utility bills and things like that which are possible by a little upgradation of the uh, ATMs which they have acquired. Going forward next 10 years, actual action for the bankers will come from rural and semi-urban centers. This is a major change. During nationalization, we went on opening branches, took the banking to the masses. Once the I mean, emphasis came on the profitability, there has been a systematic exclusion from uh, the banking services uh, to the poor depositor, that is the small depositors. Now Reserve Bank is bringing the focus back to the depositors. The latest monetary policy emphasizes what is called financial inclusion. That is, we want all financial services to be made available and accessible to all people in a high quality at low cost. And this is possible only with a quantum jump in technology on the part of all players in the financial sector. And that we have defined ourselves as the developmental role.